All right, Shalom. Kuala Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, or Kokadash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, the head apostles of Great Millstone that rule well. And peace and salutations to y'all brothers out there on the highways and byways, this noise and this roar abroad, all around the country and all around the world. Through the spirit and power of our Lord, who is Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai. Now, I just want to get into this lesson. Um, it's going to be how to maintain in the faith, you know, because we as men of the Lord, when you first come into this truth, you know, and the scriptures state, you know, in the book of Sarak, Sarak, the second chapter, that my son, if thou cometh to serve the Lord, prepare thyself for temptation, set thy heart upright and constantly endure and make it not haste in the time of trouble and be thou patient, which when thou was changed to a low state, you know? Because when you first come into this truth, it, it may seem easy at first, you know? It may seem easy at first, like the book says, you know? Like John says that when I ate the roll, you know, it was sweet in my mouth, but when it entered my belly, it became bitter. And that's indicative what, you know, this truth is when you first come into this truth. Because at first it may seem cool, it may seem easy, it may seem like a walk in the park. But usually after, you know, being in this truth in that third, that third and a half year, that's when all these calamities, you know, will start to come upon you. That's when you, you'll start to see the bitterness and feel the bitterness of this truth. After that, after that three and a half years, after, after you've been been in this thing, you know, you usually around that time. That's when things start to get harder. You'll see changes, you know, you'll start to see things just change. You know, that lifestyle that you had back in the world, you know, when it was easy and things was just smooth and you just didn't have a care in the world. But when you come in this truth, you'll see things start to get serious and start to change, you know. Usually you'll you'll end up losing your job. You end up losing your friends. You may lose your woman. Or you may you just may lose that comfort lifestyle that you had, you know. That comfort lifestyle that you had will be no more. They'll just disappear, like disintegrate. You'll see a disintegration right right before your very eyes once the more that you progress in this truth and in order to endure that in order to get through that you know you got to have faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai number one and number two you got to have you got to be able to pray you're going to have to increase your prayer because the scripture says, pray without ceasing. You're going to have to increase your prayer and increase your faith in order to maintain. Because in the book of, let me get that real quick. Because in the book of Hebrews 11 and 6, it says, but without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to the Most High must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. You know, you got to diligently seek the Most High. And that's going to be through your prayer. That's how you diligently seek the Most High, through praying without ceasing. Because ultimately, that's what's going to get you through those rough, those rough times. That's when your faith will be strengthened and your faith will be strong to endure, you know, the rough times that you come in when you're in this truth. And um, I just want to get into me, the meat of this lesson real quick. I'm going to start to get into the meat of this lesson. And it says, let me just, this is the book of Ephesians chapter 6 verse 11. And it says, put on the whole armor of the Mosai that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devils. You see? 
you got to be able to stand you got to be able to stand in this truth you know the way you put on the whole armors of the most high you got to be able to pray scripture says pray without ceasing once again that's how you put on the whole armor of the most high and you say the lord's prayer the Lord left us that prayer in the book of um, Matthew, the sixth, sixth chapter, and I believe it's the 24th four verse, that when you pray, that you pray, you know, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. But like the elders had stated, you know, if you pray that prayer in Hebrew, it is more powerful than you praying it in English. Because the strength of um, of prayer, you know, is in the Lashwan Kodash, which is the Paleo, Paleo, Paleo Hebrew, you know, which is the ancient Hebrew. Because if you say the Lord's Prayer in, in the ancient Hebrew, if you utter and pray that um, prayer in the Hebrew is a lot more powerful than it is in, in the English. But I'm going to read on. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers against the rulers of, of darkness, of, of the darkness of this world. You know, and ultimately who controls this world? Satan, you know through the so-called white man. You know, the, because the scripture says, the earth is given into the hands of the wicked, that he covers the faces of the judges thereof. That he covers the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? You know? You know, that's, that's indignant of the so-called white man. Because he's the one that's ruling the earth. He's the one that's making the decisions. And he's the one that's plummeted the earth into total darkness and madness. Because if you look around the world and look around the earth, you see that it's just pure wickedness. You know? This earth is just pure wickedness all around the world. And mainly through the ent entertainment world. Because that's how they get the masses of the people, you know, to do to do their wickedness because like the old saying goes monkey see monkey do once you know these people start seeing the things and start talking about you know the things that they see on they start seeing the things that they see on television that's when they, these people start to mimic what they see like case in point the so called black woman you know when Nicki Minaj, you know, started to dye her hair blonde, you know, she started to put that blonde weave in her hair, which is, that's the sign of leprosy, you know. According to the Bible, having blonde hair is, is leprosy, you know. And um, you got these nigga women just following right, right behind her. You know, now these nigga women are starting to blonde their hair, you know, trying to, trying to um, emulate and look like the so-called white woman. Which in the scriptures, it's a curse. You know, it's a curse to look like that. But these, but these women, they follow right along with the, with it. You know, they just follow right along with the status quo. They go, they go along with the status quo. And we as brothers, we gotta withstand. The ills uh, of, of the devil, you know, that's one of his devices. You know, he uses the entertainment world and these artists and these celebrities, you know, to make our people go off. That's how this thing works. But I'm going to read on.
against spiritual wickedness in high places, you know, spiritual wickedness in high places. Like I said, you know, Esau is the one that's controlling this earth. Esau is the one that's ruling this earth, you know, on the left hand side. And all he's done is done is just bring nothing but pure wickedness to the earth. And how does and how do brothers maintain? Got to maintain. They got to maintain by having faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, that they may not get caught up in the wickedness of this earth. That's how you withstand the wickedness. That's how. It's like the scripture says, you know, resist the devil and he shall free. I flee. How do you re resist the devil? You resist them by praying, by prayer. That's how you resist the devil. That's how you resist the ailments and the wickedness and the temptations of this world through prayer. And I'm going to read on. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of the Most High that ye may be able to to withstand in the evil day and having done all to stand you know you gotta arm yourself you gotta arm yourselves with, with this word and with the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and with your faith because that's how you're gonna get by in this truth because ultimately you're not gonna get by in this truth without those those main ingredients, you know, the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, praying, and your faith. You know, you're not gonna make it in this truth if you don't apply that. If you don't apply that in in your um in this truth, because ultimately this truth is not a fad. This truth is not a thing that you follow as status quo. You know. This truth is up front, it's direct, and it's and it's painful. It's straight. Yeah, it may seem good, you know, you realize that you're an Israelite. You realize that, you know, you're you know, you, you soak the elect of you blacks, Hispanics, Native, and Seminole Indians, that you wake up to the fact that you're Israelites, that you're of the descendants of the people that walked the group cross the Red Sea during the time of Moses yeah it may seem good but ultimately this is serious business there's law statutes and commandments that we have to rehearse and that we have to apply in our lives being in this truth this is not a thing where you could do whatever you want or you could just you know just come in this truth how, how you are you know this is not this is this is not the Baptist church this is not a Baptist church thing or a Christian um, or these Christian churches teach you. Oh, come as you are. No, when you come, you got to give up the things that you were doing when you was in the world. And quite frankly, many people, they don't want to give up that lifestyle or the lifestyles that they come, you know, being in this truth. Because once you get shaken... And the most high starts to shake you up, you know. And your faith starts to get tested, you know. Ultimately, most brothers fall out of the truth once they get into this thing. Because it's too difficult and it's too hard. Or you may not want to take orders or follow the orders that cut that um you know being in this truth. Because ultimately, this is a thing of, you know, things got to be done in decency and in order. So when order comes, when order comes down and when you have to give up a certain the, the way that you was living and you have to abide by the rules of, of being in this truth, you know. That's something you got to deal with. You can't buck up against that. You can't buck up against you know, the ordinance that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai set up. But I'm going to read on. Verse 14. Stand therefore having your loins girded about with truth. 
and having on the breastplate of righteousness. You see? You have to gird up your loins in this truth. And having the breastplate of righteousness, you know? The righteousness is when you were, um, is when you begin to come back to these laws, statutes, and commandments that the Most High prescribed for us to keep as so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native, and Seminole Indians, which we make up, you know, the nation of Israel. We have to come back to the Most High and rehearse the righteous acts and therefore prophesy the downfall of America. But the way you maintain is by rehearsing these righteous acts is ultimately do, you know, praying in the name of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai that he gives you the spirit to endure the ills that come um, along with this truth. That he gives you the spirit to continue in the faith despite what's going on around you. You know, despite of your woman leaving you or despite of, you know, you know, if an order just comes down, that brothers, you know, if an order comes down from the head up, um, from the um, elders within your camp, you know, that you may have to leave, leave the camp. Or despite of, you know, you having to do this work on your own. Or despite of, you know, you losing your job or you may be in a situation that may seem, you know, hopeless to get out of. You still got to have that faith in Yahweh Bashem Yahushai that he may deliver you from that and that he may see you through it. That's how you maintain. Because without faith, it's impossible to please the Heavenly Father. At the end of the day, this is not a sight thing. This is a faith thing. This thing is based upon faith and upon prayer. Even when things may seem impossible that you may not get out of, you still got to pray. You still got to believe in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. You still got to pray to that name, in that name of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Despite, you know, your woman, despite of you being lonely, you know, or you not having a woman, you know, to cuddle up with at night. You know, you going through long, long days of loneliness. Because the scripture says you got to put on long suffering. You know, you go in days or maybe months or you, you may go without a year without being with a woman. You know, you still got to keep that faith. And I'm going to read on. And your feet should with preparations of the gospel of peace. Verse 16. Above all, taking the shield of faith with wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fairies, the fairy darts of the wicked. You see. The scripture says taking the shield of faith. You know. That's how you arm yourself with this truth, with your faith. That when all those evils and all those darts, you know, all those matters of evils come against you, you got that faith to shield yourself from that, you know? You got your faith in Yahweh Bashem Yahushai to shield, to be shielded from all of that. To be shielded from the temptations of this world or the temptations of falling out of this truth, you know? Your faith is what shields you from all those wicked darts that come, that come to you. That come against you. Verse 17. And take the helmet of salvation. And the sword of the spirit. With. Which is the. The word of the most high. You know. The word of the most high. Which is this book. That's how you do it. That's how this thing works. Because this book, this Holy Bible, is stronger than any two-edged sword. 
And this is the book that you use to do battle against the enemy, which is the so-called white man. Because physically, we can't take this devil down physically because the most I put him in power. You know, we can't take this da devil down with his own weapons or any carnal thing like that. The way to fight him is with this truth, is with this book. You know, is with truth. It's with that spiritual sword, which is this book. That's how we're going. That's how ultimately we're going to defeat this devil. That's how we're combating and that's how we're tearing down, you know, Esau's strongholds, you know, within his kingdom. By fighting them with this truth, which is the word of the Most High. Verse 18, praying always with all prayer and supplications in the spirit and watching thereunto with all preservations and supplications for the saints. You see? Last but not least, praying. Because what did I say earlier? I said you got to pray to the Most High that he doesn't take you out of this. You got to pray to the Most High that he keeps the faith in you. That he keeps you deeply rooted and grounded and secure and solid in this truth. On your journey being in this truth. That is how you're going to maintain and that you're going to stand in this truth. Because ultimately, if you don't pray and you don't do your supplications, you know, being in, in this truth, you're going to fall. Because therefore, you don't have no foundation. In order to, for your foundation to grow, you know, you got to be deeply rooted and grounded in this truth. That's how you flourish and that's how you prosper, being in this truth. When you have that foundation, and that foundation is Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, being deeply rooted in the and grounded and secure and solid in this truth. You know, by praying and, and fasting. That's how you fertilize your faith, and that's how your faith is able to grow and flourish, you know, and be strong. Because if you're not gr deeply rooted and grounded in this truth, you're going to fall out the truth. And it's just that plain simple. And I believe that's the reason why many brothers fall out of this truth, because they don't have faith and they're not praying. Because you got to ultimately have that faith in Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, you know, to get you by in this truth. And that's how you prosper in this truth. Through praying and fasting and supplication to the Most High. And ultimately faith. Believing in Yahweh Bashem Yahushai when, when, when you're against all odds. When it seems like all the odds are stacked against you. That's when you got to use your faith and believe the most high that he can see you through it and that you can survive them odds that are stacked against you. But with that, I hope this lesson was edifying to brothers out there that 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 may watch this video. And I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Rekwak Kadash, double honors to the head apostles of Great Millstone. And peace and salutations to y'all brothers out there on the highways and byways. That's noise in this road abroad all around the country and all around the world. And with that, I want to say shalom.